start land council for the appellants has submitted that land single judge did not advert the first two points raised by the respondents in the writ petitions and he entered into merit of the case by reappraising the evidence laid before the general court material as if he was sitting as court of appeal having power to enter into merit of the case and can reappraise the evidence he has submitted that high court while exercising jurisdiction under article 226 of the constitution of india has no power to reappraise the evidence and substitute its own finding saying conclusions of guilt arrived at by the general court material being based on weak and insufficient evidence is not liable to stand and respondents are liable to be acquitted of the charge. He has further submitted that ample evidence has been given before the general court material indicating involvement of respondents in the crime and also that it were respondents who done the death of deceased persons and the findings of conviction arrived at by the general court material on the basis of that evidence which is cogent and reliable was liable to stand and could not be quashed in the writ petition filed under article 226 of the constitution of india in the name of reappraisal of evidence para land council for the appellants has further submitted that high court while exercising jurisdiction under article 226 of the constitution of india has power to reverse the finding of conviction recorded by the general court material only when it is established that finding of general court material is based on no evidence or accused were denied opportunity to defend themselves he has submitted that it was not the case taken in the writ petitions that respondents were denied opportunity to defend themselves rather it is established on record that both respondents had been provided full opportunity to defend themselves such as they had opportunity to engage lawyer of their choice and they had full opportunity not only to cross examine the witnesses by the prosecution but had opportunity to tender evidence in defense also and they had to tender evidence also in their defense and in view of this it was not open for them to challenge the findings of conviction recorded by the general court material saying evidence on which finding of conviction is based is weak and insufficient and no conviction can be based on that evidence land council for the appellants has lastly submitted that ample evidence has been laid on record and it is established from that evidence that respondents had a strong motive to commit murder of Havaldar Ram Phal and Sepa Jagannath Prasad as latter had tried to molest the wife of respondent 2 whom respondent 1 treated as sister. It is also established that respondent 1 collected a DVBL gun in the morning of 26 1 1974 and thereafter both respondents co-accused Ramesh Dubey and deceased persons were seen together going towards the place of occurrence. Para. Not only this, PW12 Damru Prashad, who is the native 
of village Bhattagaon and has a field near the place of occurrence which he was irrigating on the day of incident had heard the sound of two shots besides seeing respondents going towards the place of occurrence before hearing the sound of shots. The Land Council has submitted that evidence of PW12 Damru Prashad cannot be ignored saying it is not worth reliance as he being a short statured and there being a 5 feet high wall of hedge between the field he was irrigating and the way both respondents passed and having seen respondents only for 14 seconds he could not see the respondents facial features and recognize them the land council has submitted that this witness being a native of village Bhattagao in which respondent resided at the time of occurrence he could easily identify him and also respondent one who being a friend of respondent number two frequently visited his house he could also identify respondents stop